Hey guys, I haven't made one of these in a while. Uh, I'm not gonna post it to the R Brood War subreddit um, because I decided I'm not gonna post any blog content there. Uh, that people asked me not to. They said it wasn't. Some people said it wasn't appropriate for the sub, which to some extent I understand. There was a point where I was posting a lot, so fair enough. Um, on the other hand, there's some people who were just, in my view, being dicks. Um, so I don't really care about pleasing them. It's just, um, since there's no, since that's the kind of audience I have in our brood war, there's really no point. And then anyway, I can take that excuse off the table. People were being dicks because, oh, your content's off topic. So somehow that gives them the right to be assholes, which is strange. So now that's off the table so they can stop using that excuse because now I'm posting in my own sub. Anyway, um, yeah, this stuff really, really eats at me, um, or grinds my gears, kind of a little bit of both. Um, so there was a post about this guy Medri, or this, he made a Twitch channel. I, I didn't know about this. I wasn't following Brood War on Twitch at that time. You can see the post. It's in our Brood War, and apparently he was taken down by a group of trolls um, just for posting, like, VODs. It's kind of weird, and people were saying Brood War community is very toxic. And I piped in, well, yeah, I've been saying this for a while, but people seem to want to throw the blame on me. Like, it's my fault. I deserved to have the treatment I did because I'm an idiot or I'm a noob or I'm, like, an asshole or arrogant. I don't know what, what people think exactly, but it's not, it's not favorable towards me. Um, and anyway, this guy responded. I'm not going to say who it is. He knows who he is. I don't want to make this, like, a call-out video. I really don't care. But this guy responded, and uh, he said, you know, some people, the internet is toxic, but some people play the victim. Um, so I responded and just said, you know, if anyone wants to talk to me about it, please, let's talk on Discord or something. Because, you know, just flaming each other back and forth on Reddit doesn't get us anywhere. But if you call me on Discord, you could tell me what's up. If I'm willing to be wrong, if I'm doing something wrong, maybe I'm off topic, maybe I'm being a bit stubborn then just tell me, and I could say, hmm, maybe you're right. But if you just tell me I'm an idiot, like, via text, it really doesn't get me anywhere, uh, especially when I have a sneaking suspicion that the way I'm being treated isn't right. Um, I don't know, not that I'm, like, some huge victim here, but um, I don't think I'm in the wrong. I think they're in the wrong in terms of... Um, who's being a better person. So, you know, if, if you just want to be dickwads, that's totally your right. Like, I can't make you be a nice person. If you want to be an asshole, then that's fine. But the issue is, like, that what I take issue with is these people think genuinely like they're not being bad people. They genuinely think, like, I deserve to be treated in this way. And it's wrong. That's a total fucking bullshit. Um, anyway. Uh, I do get worked up over this stuff. Um, I'm not going to post in the Brood War sub for the reasons I listed. I am going to post it here. Now, some people would say, like, dude, just get over it, you know? Like, it's not worth it. Some people coming from a negative place, like, you know, come on, man, just get the fuck over it. And some people, like, coming from a place of love, like, dude, just, you know, just chill. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I understand it to some extent, but let me share, like... When I was growing up, I took a lot of shit. That's my story. Like, I didn't ever stand up for myself. I just let people do whatever they wanted to me. I never said a word. So for me now, like, that's actually part of the reason. I played StarCraft since 98, never played one-on-one. -on -one. I just thought I wasn't cut out for it. I just had such a poor opinion of myself. Um, and I had, a, I had a poor opinion of myself, and I took shit from a lot of people for that reason. Um, but I've had a, you know, a long process, a lot of changes in my life, a lot of like inner work or whatever you want to call it. I don't really like that term, but yeah, kind of. And uh, now that's not the case. I have a much better opinion of myself and I don't take so much shit from people. But so when I do get this people like jumping at me for reasons I don't understand, like almost like a bullying kind of thing, like for me, it's like nowadays it's kind of cathartic to actually like fire back a little bit you know what I mean so if I spent my whole life just keeping my mouth shut like now it's cathartic for me to to fire back you know so that's why I do engage with it um 
Now, there does come a point where it becomes like a headache and it's not worth it. And people have pointed that out. And like I said, um, I'm aware of that. So that's why now I'm posting in my sub. I'm not posting there because it's just not worth it to me anymore. But, you know, there's no, I don't think there's any clear cut answer. Like, should you fire back? Should you just let it go? I think it depends. And, you know, I fired back as much as I felt that was cathartic. And as soon as it became more of a headache than a catharsis, well, I stopped. And, you know, I think posting this video in my sub is going to be somewhat cathartic. I don't know who will see it. Maybe these people will see it. Um, maybe not. Maybe some people who like me will see it. Maybe nobody will see it. But whatever, I'm just going to put it out there because it's good for me. And just realize, like, I know that I probably won't change anybody's mind. Um, so this is about, this is for me. Um, let's see. This is for me. Um, yeah, that's for me also. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. So this is, this is for, this is something I do for myself. So it doesn't matter if I change anybody's mind. Um, it would be nice, of course, but, you know, I really have to do it for myself. So I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, the thing I've found is people who, like, actually like you, people who are valuable in your life, which is not people on our brood war. There's some cool people there, though. Um, but at the end of the day, those aren't my, it's not my girlfriend, it's not my best friends, you know, so, but anyway, people who really love and respect you, like, they'll understand that, they would say maybe, hey, like, and actually somebody on Brood War did, our Brood War did, he said, um, hey man, like, I personally would engage, but if you feel like that's what you need to do, that's great. Great, you know, people who actually care about you and, and love you and understand you will listen to what you're trying to say, and I'm, what I'm saying is it's cathartic for me. I realize it could end up being a headache, but it's cathartic for me. And they, what can you say to that? Well, okay, I disagree, but you know, you do you. That's all you can say. But that's not what these people say in our brood war. And you know, it happens all over the internet, it happens all over the world. They say, no, no, you're wrong. You shouldn't do this. You're wrong, you're wrong. Like their total inability to put themselves in anybody else's shoes, you see? Um, you know, that's really endemic to humanity. Uh, it's, uh, I used to do it more, I can still do it now. Um, and it's especially bad on the internet because it's anonymous and people like don't realize the harm they can do. Okay, so what do I want to say next? Um, anyway, as far as Brood War, I did post recently. I'm sitting at like 1650 MMR. B rank is in range. I think I am a bit inflated. I had some lucky wins. I had some people leave like TVTs and got a lot of points. So I'm, I'm definitely inflated, but like from somebody who literally I couldn't win a game the first night and was totally discouraged, like to the point where now I'm C rank, like B, if I'm, if I'm lucky tonight, I could like B is within striking distance. Even if it's inflated, that's still in my eyes, it's an achievement for someone who just in the past thought he was totally unable. Uh, and that was the whole point. That was the whole, what I was trying to share initially in Brood War was I'm a guy who had a poor opinion of himself now he doesn't and you know sometimes i still fail like everyone i'm not the best brood war player but with patience and perseverance i'm just as capable as anybody else that's the message i wanted to share and it's kind of was a personal challenge for me too and it's working like i'm not a rank I'm not s rank but shit i'm not f either and uh, the people who said, like, you know, you have to play standard. You have to play standard. Three-fact Vulture versus Terran. Um, Factory Expand versus Protoss. And, and what is it? Rax Expand versus Zerg. Um, yeah, I, I think that's valuable, actually. Because if you just do, like, proxy BBS, like, all the time, like, what do you learn? So that's valid to some extent. But, dude, it's supposed to be fun, too. And... You know, someone could say, I just went for a run. Someone could say, if you want to be a marathon runner, you have to train like a marathon runner. Or if you want to get good at running, you have to train like a marathon runner. And there's wisdom in that, absolutely. But everybody has different goals. Maybe I'm not trying to run a marathon. Maybe I don't care about getting S rank. Maybe I just want to have some legitimate games and, and get a little better and have fun. And, you know, maybe as far as running goes, maybe I just want to be in shape and you know, instead of running two miles, maybe I want to be able to run five. And could I learn some things from the marathon runners? Yeah. But if someone says you need to follow a marathon training regimen, like there's absolutely no point, you know, I have to find something that works for me within my time constraints, within what I'm willing to give. 
uh, base, you know, all these things, what I enjoy, maybe I enjoy running five miles, maybe running more than five, I hate it, you know? So there's no one size fits all. And I guess, mm, I don't know what the underlying message here is. I think I explained mostly where I'm coming from. Um, I think these people are wrong because they just really think that I've done something gravely wrong when really all I was trying to do was share my journey. Um, I enjoy sharing it. I understand maybe it was off topic or maybe I was a bit stubborn. I did fire back and flame some people. So I haven't done everything perfectly. Totally acknowledge that. But deep down, I think uh, they're wrong. I think they have a total lack of empathy. I think they're actually incapable of being empathetic. Um, Video games, for me, used to be an escape. I didn't have a good life, so video games were my escape. Now it's different. I have a good life, and video games add to that. But I think there's a lot of people who don't have a good life, and they haven't developed empathy. They haven't developed social skills, and especially um, emotional skills. Um, and I can see why these people would feel threatened if I said that. Like, it's it's kind of a... Like, now I feel kind of bad. Um You know, I don't wish them any ill will, but it's still wrong what they do. And um, I just needed to call it out. Um, that's all, guys. I'll leave it here. And, you know, for anyone I'm calling out, seriously, no hard... F well, fuck you, <laughs> firstly. <laughs> but deep down, no hard feelings. I think you're wrong, but I wish you the best. Fuck you, but I wish you the best. I, I don't wish any ill will, even though I'm mad at you. Um, and everybody who's been cool, great. And everybody who doesn't have any opinion at all, hope you're well as, hope you're well as well. All right, guys, that's 12 minutes. That's good enough. Um, if you made it this far, congrats. And um, everybody, be well. Bye-bye.